Welcome back, UMG. Guys, there was a little bit of a confusion. Yeah. I guess Merkin used, uh, unintentionally, they used Hardline as well as Cat 40s, but both teams have, in fact, discussed it, and they are going to continue to play as it was very unintentional, and really, they didn't even notice, to be quite honest with you. So, it, with that issue cleared up, I'm Taylor Noble, Reflections underscore Turbo Show here, and uh, we're going to get it going in the fifth map. Whoever wins this is moving on. Yeah, it's going to be S&D game. As we saw in the first S&D game, it was very, very close. So, uh, just coming into this one, I'm not going to call it because I've been Actually, I've been right all week on who the winner is. No, you haven't. Really? I, I've called every game. Are you serious? Um, by every map count. And surprisingly, the Halo casters, who know absolutely nothing of what's going on, yeah. called the matches as well. So that's actually yeah. quite surprising. I know you guys like those Halo casters, but... Uh, <laughs> They're fun. They yeah. were a lot of fun, weren't yeah, they? It's hilarious. Those guys are awesome, guys. He's just the, one of the funniest people I've ever met in my whole life. I tried, I tried explaining the game to them before they came on, and you see how well <laughs> that went. So <laughs> it's, it, I can only imagine me going up there and casting Halo, but, you know, it it's is not going to happen. Not gonna no, happen. it's not going to happen because I absolutely I know nothing about it. I only know Call of Duty, so it is what it is. But, guys, tweet out the stream. Let's get some more people going. If you guys want to uh, tweet at Reflections, which is me, and Turbo, if you want... Yeah, this, it's all mixed up. Tweet at us, and uh, we may put your tweet on stream and just mention you and just, uh, if anything, you yeah. want us to ask the teams or whatever's going on because I believe there are going to be interviews coming up after this. But anyways, it does look like they're trying to get it ready, and uh, they are going to be starting it here. Yeah. But Express Search and Destroy, I love this map, and I love this game mode personally because yeah. there's been so many crazy things that has happened on this. But I think one team is going to be dominant than the other, obviously, so we'll find I'm out. I'm going to say 6-2 TK. 6-2 TK, and you've been right on it. Six zero. Oh, okay. I mean, it doesn't okay, burn, burn. Okay. He, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. So here we go. Let, let's let's get it going. As uh, Turbo, start us off. All right. So with about twenty seconds left until the match begins, we're just gonna hang out in here and talk about stuff. You know, like we have planned for the whole weekend. No, actually, if you guys stick around, coming up next, we are gonna have a little. Uh, actually, a guest commentary. It is gonna be Rambo from. Rambo's coming on. Yep. He's gonna, he's gonna come gonna on and do the Epsilon match. Yeah, with uh, with GB actually. So it should be a pretty good game. That's quite interesting. I uh, wonder what he's going to say. As uh, we are gonna be getting started here, Merkin taking an aggressive approach over for the B bomb shields. A very advanced position as he comes over here, gets in a gunfight, gets taken out. Fizzer trying to come through, Ooh. and he does get a nice kill there. Two people left. It's gonna be a two v three now as Fizzer does currently get stunned and another gunfight going on. Look at that. Goes down and now Fizzer blasts alive in a 1v2 against Gunjar and Neslo. Let's see what he can make happen. Yeah, and right now though the bomb is down right by the B bomb site so it's all up to uh, it's all up to Gunjar Ooh. to protect that but Neslo though is going to come in and nice jump shot and take out Fizzer. 1-0 lead right now for TK over Merkin. Yeah, great play right there from the team of TK. They played that perfectly in my opinion. They pushed the rush and that's what you want to do so I'm expecting next time uh, Merkin is going to go for that A-bomb push, and if they do, well, we'll see what happens. But interested to see what TK is going to do now with the bomb as we're going into it. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see what they do. I mean, what their breakout's going to be like. TK probably going to go for this uh, quick A push. I haven't seen a really quick A push, but it looks like they're going for that side. Now, that push is going to throw Merkin completely off their game. Yeah, because three's over at the B bomb. Only one at A, and that's actually yeah, going that's to be Fizzerp over there. And then we're going to see now it's going to be Dino oh, and everybody him. else rotating. He saw him. And did he and see that him? Is, yeah, he's down already. In theory, was able to take him out. So that's a one, or it's a 3v4 now with everyone over at the, uh, they were over at the B site. So now TK pretty much just has to work their way into A and go for a quick plant. Yeah, and I'm actually seeing somebody was thinking about flanking. That was Shills, but he's not going to do that flank. But we are going to see the bomb going down. I do believe this. Theory's going to be planting it, yeah. and we do see a uh, flak jacket coming into effect. There, Neslo watching the flank for good reason as we see Shills coming through the backside section. But look at that. Dito, or excuse me, Silly and Shills last alive for the team of Merkin, and they got to hold it down against four oh. people. But no, look at this. As it's Oh, my gosh, it's all up to Silly. He gets a kill there, and he's still got three people to deal with. Yeah, and right now it's going to be a 3v1 situation. Silly, the only one up uh, from a Merc, and he's going to come into a little challenge right now. I'm not sure who that is. That is, in fact, going to be Neslo, who was right there on the side. And we have one player up on. Uh, that is going to be, in fact, Theory up in the top control. 12 seconds left on the clock. All they have to do is pretty much just spam him and protect him, and that is going to be it. Uh, TK is going to take the second round of SND Express. Well, he's getting close to the RCXD. No, he's not. Excuse no, me. No, it's not going to happen. Shut Sharp is going to shut that down. TK taking a 2-0 lead right now over the team of Merck. And I actually want to see some defensive action and see what's going to happen there if you're okay with that. Yeah. Man. I want to see some defense and see uh, how Merkin is going to come through. But um, 
That's just, that's or get another point of view. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, I would like to see how they're going to be able to do it because, you know, now it's going to be uh, the team of Merkin who's got to plant the bomb, and I'm assuming they're going to go A. And I think TK needs to predict that as we are going to be on board with Gunjar. He's going to go straight up this red hallway. He's actually not going to run anybody. Let's get on board with some action. Who's going to be down there? It's going to be Theory, who's got the DSR. Is he going to spot somebody? He does, and he gets shut down. Now Sharp. Sharp's going to be trying to make some work happen here. Yeah, and Fizzer was the one who got the kill off yep. with his DSR all the way to the other end of Terminal. It looks like that TK is being really aggressive right now. And and that's, you know, you would think that would throw them off their game. But them being really aggressive right here is completely not working for them. So they should have rotated back. But it's going to be stuck now at a 3v2 situation. Yeah, and Gunjar and Neslo only two up from TK up against Adito. Silly and child. Yeah, look at Neslo. He's actually coming from the Chills, back section. Yeah. Picks Chills. up one right there in Chills. the seating. And looking at uh, Gunjar now. Ooh. As Gunjar is shooting at somebody, but he's not going to be able to do it. Just 25 seconds remaining until they have to defuse that bomb. They are, in fact, going to be pinching him. Here we go. Neslo trying to make a move. Is he going to be able to get this? He's a bit sketchy right now. He's last alive. He's got to get this. And no, no, he's not going to. Merkin's finally going to put score on the board. Two to one. And that is some great stuff by them. Current score, two to one overall. Yeah, so far, TK has been playing pretty flawless. What happened on that end is they got over-aggressive in the beginning. Now, if they would have sat back for a little while, waited for uh, Merkin to push up, and then and gotten more aggressive and pushed them back, that would have been the perfect play for them. And I think they would have taken the map there, or the round there, I'm sorry. Yeah, most definitely. Well, here we go. We're actually going to stay on board with Merkin and see how they're going to play the defensive side as they did a lot better job on the offensive. Sharp is going to take the bomb in a trophy system going over there. But look at Shields, though. He's going to be up here, maybe going to run into somebody. But no, look at that. Look at the mini map. There's actually yeah. going to be three people. And actually, Nesla, Gunjar is going to be the only person separated, but we could have a rotation over for the A bomb. But yeah, I'm we do have a quick rotation right here. Shiles is the only one on B who did rotate around. We're, we're going to see some resistance already. Nestle is going to take out Go. Oh, uh, that was Dito as well as Shields now. So that's going to be two down, as we saw. Uh, we saw Nestle with a nice two-piece there, so it's all up to Silly and Fizzer. Yeah, and we do see the bomb not going down just quite yet. And uh, actually, Ooh. Silly thought it was going to, but here we go. Fizzer right here does pick up Neslo there. Is he going to continue to push forward? Now, I do see Fizzer as well as Silly pushing together. Uh, could be a rather risky move. We've seen a lot of double kills happen here. But as we look, though, he is, in fact, going to find Theory. Oh, take but, the shots. but Theory's here, though. Theory's going to shut it down, and it's going to be left up to Silly, who gets shut down as well by Gunjar. 3-1 score by TK. Yeah, it's a 3-1. There's three more left. Goonjar with a final kill cam here. Now, what they did on... I, I just licked my microphone. Actually. That was really gross. But yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> uh, what they did there was a perfect plant site, and then they planted on the on the side of the terminal, on the, on the bottom side of the terminal, so that they all could just sit back in case someone did get taken out. They would have to go for the defuse, and it would be exposing themselves. Yeah, most definitely. Let's actually pull up the overall scoreboard as we're looking out Sharp going 3-2, and two, but he's got that plant. We're also looking at Neslo 5-3, and three, and I would like to point out Theory also has a plant themselves, so I like how they're able to rotate the objective player. And looking over here, we do, in fact, have Silly's going 5-3, and three, Fizzer 4-4, four and four. and look at Shield struggling 0-4, and four, but he's got a plant, so he's at least got some score on the board. Let's get on board with him and maybe give him some love, and it works out as he takes out Neslo Nestle, there. Yeah. And it's going to be a 4v3 now. Yeah, Nestle got a little over-aggressive there. Again, they're on defense. They need to just sit back, relax, and wait for Merkin to make the mistakes. And that is going to be now a 1v3 situation. We have Goonjar, Sharp, and Theory, the only three up from Team Caliber. Yeah, and problem is, this bomb is, in fact, going to be down up in that top engineer room. And I think they know that. Fizzerp's got to make some magic happen. He's actually going to, first person he's going to run to is going to be Theory on his right-hand side. He's got to get through him, and then after that, he's going to take out Sharp and Gunjar. And here he goes. Gunfight oh. going to happen, and Theory's going to win it. And beautiful shot with the M8. And that was impressive because he just outgunned him with the M8 at close range. And <laughs> Shields, he had the MSMC. So that should not have happened. But look at that beautiful shot on his part. Yeah, that was a great jump shot right there by Theory. And also, they're playing it uh, very well once again. So this next side, they will be a... Uh, uh, what what do you think Merkin yeah, needs to do differently right now? Slow down. Slow I mean, down again. Again, they need to slow down. They they've been both sides have been really aggressive coming in this S and think they both just want to get it over. Maybe they're hungry, want to grab some food or something. Dude, I do. I am extremely hungry. So anyway, back on board here with Theory with the bomb pushing far ahead again. Merkin has sent three down to the B side, and there's only one up 
Uh, that's going to be Fizzerp over by A. So now Fizzerp, I'm sure, called it out. He's going to get taken out. Theory, though, is going to take out his own teammate, Neslo, there. Those team kills definitely hurt, especially in a game type like S&D. Sharp and Dito relatively close to each other as we see it's going to be silly oh. pushing up. Shills just went down. Let's switch on board with Gunjar as he just gets up a kill. Ooh. Sharp on a three kill streak, and it's going to be silly. Last alive in a 1v2 against Sharp and Theory. Let's see if he's going to be able to pull this out. Actually, look at this as we have a pretty interesting defense. One in Engineer, and there he goes. Can he take out Theory? Puts a lot of bullets at him, able to take him out, and now it's going to be left up in a 1v1 between Sharp as well as Silly. Sharp yeah. right now on a three kill streak. He's hot right now, so maybe he's going to be able to do this. Can we see a def ninja defuse? Question mark. Oh, no. Oh, oh, here right we go. Now, but no. Right now, Sharp is going to be alone, and there's going to be 11 seconds left. He just needs to sit back, hide. It's over. And uh, that is it. He's going not going to go for the defuse. And he could get the kill though. Yeah. But that's going to put him up five to one <sighs> though oh, in the man. round count. So you know what? There was really nothing he could have gone except if he would have gone to the bomb site a little bit sooner. It's hard. It's hard to say. Yeah, TK looking really, really good right now. They're looking like they want to move up into the winner's bracket. They were a favorite coming into it. You see everybody going crazy if you can hear them. TK right now leading the score 5-1, to one, and Merkin has to win six or five straight rounds, rather. So... Dang, man. It's yeah. it's definitely pressure is on right now, but they really have nothing to lose at this point. Let's see where they're going to go as they are currently going to be rocking the bomb on the offensive side, spreading up quite a bit. Shills taking that bomb. And then let's actually get down here as a Fizzer looks like he could, in fact, get in a little gunfight with the DSR. And yeah. who's that going to be over there? That's going to be Theory. Theory. And let's see if Theory pushes up. Quite interesting stuff. But look at him. Nobody over at the A-bomb. Yeah, nobody. And now they're sending out that scout RCXD to figure it out. And uh, TK, they should have sent one over close to the bomb site. Again, I don't know wh why the stacking of the B site. Maybe they wanted to end it quickly again. Fizzerp's going to take out Neslo. Goonjar is going to take out, uh, that was silly. And Woo! he's going to take out uh, the RZXD with a nice jump shot. And uh, there's a little gunfight back here in the middle of the trains. I'm not sure who that was. But uh, that is going to be Gunjar, in fact. And, oh, he's going to take out uh, Dito right there. But the bomb is still in the hand of Shiles, who's sitting in mid-train. You could go anywhere right now, firing some shots in the middle. And that is sharp, in fact. So right now, they are going to wait and see. And the bomb uh -oh. is getting planted on the A site. Well, Shields is planting that bomb, but he's going to get pinched. He runs through this train. Is he going to get taken out here? It's in 1v2. This is for the winner's bracket. So if he needs to clutch this, if he wants to keep his team alive or else, TK is going to move on. He goes into mid-train. Oh, he picks sharp. up Sharp, but now he's still got to worry about Theory. And a 1v1, That's and it. there it is. It's over. And TK is going to take it 6-1 to one yeah. victory. And there we go. We got some trash talking going, but overall very respectful of yeah. both teams. And they just ended the game. Actually, we have no stats for you. As they just totally <laughs> connect. Rage quit. That's what <laughs> Can I was you do that online? Can you do that online? Well, Apparently. obviously, because connection has been lost to host as we ended that game. But, wow, TK is going to move on in the winner bracket. And I think wow. they're now going to the finals. Right. So th we will have TK at the finals. But who from the loser bracket is going to move up and face TK at the end? Now, that's the question that we all have to be on the lookout for, guys. But I'm Reflections. This is Turbo. We'll be right back with you guys after this commercial break. Don't go anywhere. Exciting matches still to come. Cannot be